Hey, hi, I'm Jamie from Sci-Fi Vision. Thanks so much for talking to me. I appreciate it. Of course, Jamie. Um, so I've I'm, I'm enjoyed this season very much, but can you start by talking about, obviously this is a, is a dark character. <laughs> and most, yes, just a little bit. A little crazy there, but um, so can you sort of talk about how you connect with that part of it? Like, how do you kind of get to that that dark place, I guess? Yeah, a few ways. Um, <laughs> music is a really good uh, hook for me as an actor. Um, I've been listen listening to a lot of heavy metal metal core rhythmic technical guitar screaming stuff uh over the pandemic very angsty clearly um <laughs> and going on to set stepping from who i am as a person putting the mask on and becoming travis that's a real good hook for me is finding something that embodies the emotion that evokes that in me and um that sort of music really does for me it really gets me into the mindset I need for Travis. Um, but ultimately, to be able to play a role like this, you just you need to be able to empathize. And even though he is a character that cannot empathize by the nature of his psychopathy, I as an actor must be able to empathize even with the worst character, the worst human being in the world. It, 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 university when we're a theatre school, we were asked to try and empathize specifically with Hitler because oh, wow that weirdly enough because he is often just held up as the lowest form of humanity is like the most pitiable hateable figure in history that if you can empathize with someone like that and understand their motivations and try and inhabit them truthfully then hopefully the performance will be that it will be truthful right right is there a part what part of him though did you i guess connect to like what did you find in common with him if anything <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's so far away from me as a character that it's like it's which is nice I don't, I don't often get to play characters that are like so far away from me but obviously there is there's a common humanity that we all share so there is there is something in there and i guess uh what i can empathize with travis is that he wants status he wants he wants to be seen, he wants to be loved, even if that love is, I would consider a perverse kind of, and a shallow form of love. It's a psychopathic form of love. It's He wants security and comfort and status like we all do. Um, just the way he goes about getting it is <laughs> probably not the best. Just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, you get quite a few action scenes. There's a really good shootout too in this one. Yeah. Do you enjoy that kind of, that part of the of the role? Oh, I love doing the action stuff. I I would do all my own stunts if they let me, but there's lots of red bureaucratic tape to get through on that on that front. So yeah, I've getting to jump off things, getting to just do all of that. I will take any opportunity I can get to do that. Um and yeah just give me more action scenes man it's great fun the other scene that i think kind of sticks out this season is at the pool with lena that must have been mm. very uncomfortable to fill well it was a cold night in the desert and i was jumping in and out of a pool and for context i'm <laughs> i'm nude in the scene so um yeah it's they didn't set me up for a uh, success in the fact that I, <laughs> we filmed the naked scene at the very end of the night after jumping in and out of a cold pool for about two hours however <laughs> it's all good and uh yeah it was a hell of an experience doing that in front of lena especially having everyone staring at your naked body is it's an experience <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i'm sure i'm sure mm. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I enjoyed the season. And also, I just want to say, I was very disappointed when class didn't come back. Oh, God, back thank though, you. So. Thank you. It's <laughs> actually <laughs> continuing. It's, just, it's continuing in the form of Big Finish. Yeah, if anyone know. knows Big Finish, it's, there, there are audiobooks that, that continue the story. And we've just done something recently. So, oh, Very cool. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate it, Jamie.